Coker. I'm a registered nurse at Augusta University Medical Center in Augusta, Georgia. I'll be uh, demonstrating how to, to uh, insert a nasogastric tube today. And this is my very willing patient. So what we have is all the supplies over here. We're going to numb him up first with 4% um, lidocaine. And we'll be using an atomizer. So it doesn't take but just a little bit. This is for his comfort and for mine. Okay. See how it, see how it sprays? It sprays just a little. Okay. So I'm going to I'm going to put it in his mouth first. Uh, okay. Okay. That's good. Just just swallow just a little bit. Can you taste it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we, we check for any nasal nasal deviation. And so he is a very experienced um, person as far as getting, I'm going to spray your nose next, um, about um, having NG tubes placed. And so he has got a stricture over here. And so we're going to go on this side. So always ask the person if, it, if there's any nasal, nasal if their nose has ever been broken or have a, has a septal deviation or anything like that. So now, I'm going to put this in his nose. Just a little bit. I think that's enough. Or a little bit more. Just a little bit more. It takes a little bit for this to... Okay. Okay. So now, we have an assortment of NG tubes. Oh. We have the 14 French, and, and since he has um, a sensitive nair, we're going to use a silicone. It's flimsy, and it's a small one too. There's there's a 16 16 French, 18 French, but these seem to be tend to be a little harder, and after a while it will erode the nose, the the nasal set of the nair. So what we're going to do. Go ahead and just prepare this. We're going to, to turn it sideways like this. We're going to measure from the, the nose to the ear. Okay. And then from the ear, the upward process. Here. We're going to put just a little piece of tape there so we'll know how far we, we need to go and we'll be there when we, okay? All right, now, so all this is clean so we don't have to worry about any of that. The thing about it is whenever you start to do this, you need to have all of your equipment ready so you don't have to be running out of the room. There's also um, seed can that you can use. It's got a handy dandy little little spray nozzle, but we like to do the 4% because it has a little better numbing effect. We have water, so whenever I get to the place where he's supposed to swallow to help the tube go down to the esophagus, then we'll, we'll have that. All right, so you think it may be numbing up some? Yes. Okay, good. All right, so now we've got KY jelly. And so we're going to, since we've got this open, and this is all clean here, put this here. Oh, just put this where's the thing yet. I'm gonna put this in here. I'm gonna lubricate it good. Oh. I should have cut the whole end of it off, huh? All right, so. And I'm going to have him bend his head back, back first, back first, and then we're going to aim down, aim down, okay, easy does it, have him take deep breaths, now, when we get here, we're going to have him pull his head this way, and I'm going to give him the water, I'm going to have him sip, sip the water, and I'm going to gently Push 
And now we've reached our tape. Okay. How's that feel? Mm -hmm. Feels better? Okay, so we'll put the put the water over here. And then we've got our little handy dandy bulb syringe here. Hold this Kim. Don't lose the connector. Mm -hmm. Have to open a whole other pack if you, mm -hmm. if you. And so, see the discoloration of the gastric, gastric secretions. Just gradually aspirate this. And so we know we're here. The the confirmation of NG two anymore is that we need to get a radiograph for correct placement. Okay, so we're going to uh, Kim, we got the suction up there ready. As a general rule I would have I would have him connected to a pulse oximetry. He can speak. You can you can raise your you can raise your head up. Okay. So, I'm not going to let this pull on him. I'm going to tape it to his gown. I'm going to use benzoin to. Sometimes it takes more than two hands. <laughs> Nuller benzoin, right? Just a little bit of benzoin. I like to have a hypoallergenic dressing. And it's really good to do this before you put the bins on them because after you put the bins on them, it sticks to everything. Put this here. Put this where it won't really. So I have the bins on the tube. Okay. How's that feel? Yeah, that feels pretty good. It feels pretty good? Okay. So we will get a securing device and put this so it doesn't pull on him because we really don't want it to be want to it to not be rubbing against his his um, septum here, nasal septum. Because this may stay in for days and days and days, and it, and it will erode the mucosa of the nose. But we didn't make a mess. Yay! <laughs> okay, you should be getting some relief now, so I'm really, I'm really glad. So we need to, and we'll secure this. We'll secure this so it won't fall on. Okay, that concludes this presentation. Mm -hmm.